Hey there, just wanted to make this quick video. So you know if you're borrowing the RV, you know what to do and how to do it. So if you're, uh, if the RV is just sitting, being stored, uh, it's best to hook it up to your, uh, to your power. So we've got the, you know, 30 amp uh, with an adapter right here. That's running to an extension cord just into the garage. Just hooked up on like a 15 amp circuit, but that way it charges the batteries and keeps them charged. Uh, so for when you're going, it takes a good long time to charge the two big batteries that are on board. Um, so I'll just kind of walk around show you everything. Down here is your LP gas. Um, LP, you have to go to like an LP filling station. There's not a whole lot of them around, so you got to Google it, try to find somebody. Um, but if you look underneath, you'll see this guy. So that's your, this is your on and off valve here. Um, so this is, it's really only for the stove. So if you're not doing any cooking, you probably don't need to worry about that. Uh, next one back here are some other supplies. You've got your poop hose. You've got uh, blocks. So if you're going to some place that's not that level, um, there's a level on the inside. You can put it on the dining room table. Uh, put the level there, and then you're going to want to drive onto the blocks that are in here. Um, also got extra fluid. Oh, I should note, you do have to change out the brake uh, cylinder on this yet. So do have some extra brake fluid. Why don't I show you that real quick? So you want to pop the hood. It's a real small leak, um, but you definitely don't want to run out of brakes when you're on the road. Let me put this up. So this is your brake master cylinder here. Um, you're gonna want to take off these two guys. They'll pop off and open it up, and then just make sure she's topped off. You probably want to check this. Um, you know, every second or third time you fill up with gas, no matter how far you're going. If the brakes start to feel spongy, you also see a red light on the dash if the brakes uh, fluid is low. So keep going back here. Um, this door right here is for your storage water. There's two tanks that are underneath the seats uh, on the inside. So if you're going somewhere and, and you know, you're not gonna have water, you probably wanna fill those up. You probably don't wanna drink that water just for uh, using here. Next compartment here is your refrigerator. So we did replace the refrigerator, so this is just a household refrigerator, just with your plug. Um, make sure you unplug this when you're not using it for a long time. Um, but there's a there's a plug in right on the inside here. You can see, so just you know, plug that guy in, and uh, you'll be good to go. Um, but you do have to be plugged in to your power to your power here in order to. Uh, use a refrigerator next one back is your your um, your big big wire this is all just where you roll up all your uh, uh, wires I do have some extra adapters back in here um, but really to, to operate this and especially to use the air conditioning you want to be connected and find a campsite that has a 30 amp plug-in so very important um, next up right above it this is your fresh water connection so if you do do a campsite and they do have water this is where you'll connect it to um, what I found best is not to um, turn the water on full blast. Connect it up, make sure everything's nice and tight because you don't want water dripping down, especially on your electrical cable. Um, so plug, you know, get it in there nice and tight and then just crank it, just, just open a little bit, just so you have enough pressure inside to use. Next is your gas cap. Pretty self-explanatory, make sure she's full. And down here you have your uh, <coughs> poop chute. Right one, it uh, looks like the left on the video, but it's actually the, near the back, is your black water, which means nasty water. To the left, you have your gray water, and you have your cap. So you just twist this cap off. Um, you can take this nozzle off and uh, fill it up with water to kind of flush it out, if you like. Um, so, little uh, fuel saving tip, don't haul your poop around. <laughs> Empty it out whenever you can. So I'll do the next video on inside.